Hey there, I'm Zan. And I'm Kaya. And, and welcome, welcome to Course, Course Crash Theater. Theater. Today, we will be talking about theater in, in the, the 90s. 90s. Believe it or not, theater in the 90s wasn't actually a very big thing. Only about 5% of people went to see musical theater on a daily basis. And those were usually, you know, students, tourists, the elderly, or your local theater kid. It was Disney, however, who revived theater in the 90s with their production of The Beauty and the Beast. They then went on to make more musicals like Tarzan, The Lion King, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. In the 90s, there was much controversy. Luckily, theater was not a part of it. Therefore, the actors were not viewed negatively. In the 90s, however, the AIDS epidemic had started, and this influenced theater greatly. A playwright named Jonathan Larson wrote a musical called Rent, which brought much attention to this epidemic. Some of the most famous playwrights of the time are Jeffrey Hatcher, Michael Hollinger, and Che Yu. Jeffrey Hatcher wrote nine shows in the 90s, which was the most out of the three I just mentioned. All of these amazing people had inspirations, like high school teachers, or, for example, Che Yu was inspired by the U.S. Constitution. There are many of good examples of musicals from the 90s, but to save some time, I'll only talk about three. One of our examples is Beauty and the Beast, made by Alan Menken and Tim Rice. This musical is based off of the movie of the same name, although you may not recognize some details, as musicals often make changes when being adapted from their movie. This also occurs when adapting movies from books. I'm looking at you, Percy Jackson. <coughs> Percy Jackson is over! Don't hear you, little... Okay. So, um, you know, uh, can I just have a moment? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Just, just, just. Beauty and the Beast is about a young girl named Belle in a village who doesn't agree with her habits. Her father, who is a merchant, goes off and doesn't come back, and she goes looking for him. She finds him in an abandoned castle in the woods, populated by a bunch of inanimate objects who have a life of their own, and a scary beast. She offers herself in place of her father, and over time, she finds that the beast might not be so bad. Not to spoil the end, but she breaks the curse by loving him. He turns out to be a prince. It's kind of weird, I guess. Another good example of a musical from the 90s is The Lion King, which is about Simba, the son of Mufasa, who is the king of the Pride Lands, whose brother Scar is jealous of him and his position of power. After years of, after years of being outcasted, Scar kills his brother Mufasa and places the blame on Simba. Overwhelmed with guilt, Simba runs away, and he spends years out in the wilderness. He only comes back because his childhood friend begs him to, because Scar has ruined the Pride Lands. Rent is a musical about a group of friends in Bohemia navigating life as artists, as well as struggling with HIV and AIDS. This musical brought a lot of attention to the illness, as well as helped us figure out how many minutes are in a year. The spoken word album, Everything by Henry Rollins, is a chapter out of his book, Ice Cream, which tells of many theatrical riots during his time in LA, as well as his thoughts on the police and the reactions of the residents there. Theater has always had a wonderful impact on society, and this also applies to the 90s. Rent the Musical talked about things like HIV, AIDS, homosexuality, drugs, sex work, and self-harm. The Lion King had a wonderfully diverse cast with amazing tech and beautiful African culture. And The Beauty and the Beast was one of the very first musicals to ever be written with storyboards. In conclusion, 
theater in the 90s in and of itself might not have been a huge thing, but it did give way to the theater that we have now, which I'd argue has a pretty big impact on our social culture. Thank you for watching. I'm Kaya. And I'm Zan. And, and this, this was Horse Crash theater. theater. Although now, it's a murder investigation. Where do you think you're going? Hey, 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 I, it was an accident, <laughs> all right? Allegedly. Look, man. Allegedly. Look, I, I know get the camera out of, get the camera out of here. Get it out of here. <laughs>